Hello everybody, Arctic here, and a little over a month ago, I asked for potential um, questions for a QA. and a um, I didn't title the video Q&A or anything like that, but I I did ask. And the thing, same thing goes here, if you have any questions you'd like to ask me, there's an a, a link to my Ask FM, or you can just ask in the comments to this video. And if a bunch happen, I'll do a full Q&A video. If it's just one, then I'll do like I'm going to do here and just answer the one question. It's been like a month and I feel like I offer it. So, MM231 asks, why did I start YouTube? Well, there's a lot of reasons. There's a lot of reasons. Um, this YouTube account, oh my gosh, how old is this account? This account's old. One second, I gotta look. Because, um... I made this account not to subscribe to people. No, no, no. I made this account back in 2007. Holy freaking cow, I forgot how old this is. Um, I made this account back in 2007. And it was mainly to watch age-restricted videos. Yep, I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that. Um, but I didn't use YouTube a whole lot back then. Back then, I mean, there was Omni Strife, and there was a couple other people. Yeah, go look up Omni Strife if you've ever seen the uh, Fun with the Akatsuki videos. They're about as old as this channel. Um, if not, some of them are older. But I just started out watching YouTube, and I never thought about actually doing anything on it. It was just one of those, look what I can do. So, I did it. Yep. That's essentially it. Well, about four years ago, four years ago, I decided I was going to do something. I was going to do something, and I was going to have fun with it. It wasn't going to be like a full video. No, 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 no. But I was going to create something and post it on YouTube. And about... Yeah, it was about... Holy cow, yeah, it's been like three years. I'm trying to just go back because it's so far back. It's my first video. When you think first video out of 700, this at this time, this is going to be the 795th video I've uploaded. Think about that. 795 videos. Because I was doing two videos a day for a while. Um, I'd like to get back up to that, but at the moment, I'm going to go ahead and take it easy just because... Why stress myself? Why push myself that hard? I'm enjoying the one video a day. Um, just like I'm enjoying the fluctuating between my once a month unboxings, my weekly streams, and um, other stuff like that. I, I am thoroughly enjoying what I've got going. Um, so I don't see a point in trying to push for anything different. So it started way, way, way back. January 29th, 2013, holy cow, so three years ago, almost four, I uploaded a song called Arctic Slay. I strongly suggest you do not go and listen to it. It's terrible. Terrible. It's got 38 views, and um, I, I would, I, I, I'm sorry to all 38 people. I think I'm one of those views. And then, like, literally the next year, I decided I was going to do some gameplay. Um, it started out, I played World of Warcraft, and I was playing over on, and I was doing some uh, tutorials on there. They're not on this channel anymore. I actually fully deleted them. But I did them, and yet again, it was just kind of one of those things. And then I found out I could turn on ads. But I had to delete those videos to do so because at the time, it was when YouTube was still really, really gray with gameplay. And so they're like, okay, Arctic Slay is an original. We're fine with that. But these aren't. So we need you to, you know, get rid of them or display us permission. And it was just easier to get rid of them than, than to display permission. Um, and then I started streaming on Twitch. And I just I streamed on Twitch. It was December 1st, 2014. You can't see this these videos anymore. But I had my Twitch stream set to post to YouTube when it was done. Um, which it did. Problem? I didn't know how to use XSplit. And so, my entire video is in the upper corner. Yeah. I learned, like, the next thing I did, I learned. Because that's when I started doing um, full-on gaming. Because, let's see, there was Minecraft, Laptop Episode 1, Building a Creeper. I was doing something with my buddy Chewy. 
We played around a little bit. Then I did one video playing WoW on my Hunter. I have no idea. I played for a half hour on my Hunter. It's got three views. I don't get it. I did a tutorial on beacons. I did a couple other things. It was just kind of some just random stuff. Lots of random stuff early on. I had no schedule or anything. Then I started doing vlogs. And in fact, what essentially happened was there was a threefer. Three massive things happened. And they all happened back to back. First, I decided, I'm, you know, I was working on a lot of things. I was doing some animation. I was doing some tutorials. I was having fun. Um, you know, no real schedule to it, but I was having fun. And it was just something I was doing to, for, for enjoyment. So, yeah, I really started in, uh, YouTube just because I enjoyed it. But on December 25th, 2014, literally before my first month, actively doing YouTube and had ended my mother-in-law died the next two weeks during this time I was still a truck driver and the next two weeks I stayed home I stayed home with family and I played a lot a lot of video games um I started my Dishonored playthrough and I need to go back to that but what I think is going to happen is I'm just going to restart it um, I may just restart Dishonored I may just ignore the current one on there I may hide them because um, the quality back then was shit and I started doing Postal something else I, I want to finish but I don't see myself doing and then my first week out my first week back on the road I started making vlogs. I started trying to... It's when I first started really trying to learn what I was doing. And so I started doing vlogs. And I started doing other things. I was trying to come up with some fun things I could do. Some fun... Just have fun. And I was getting some views. Probably about what I'm getting now. It wasn't anything really spectacular. But it was fine. Um, I wasn't tr truly worried about views... And then January 17th, I started doing my Game Facts series. Yep. Jan 16 facts about World of Warcraft. That was my first fact video. And that's why I decided I was doing a series. That's why I decided I had a plan, I had a goal. I was doing a series. And I don't know if I wanted to grow my channel. I don't know if I wanted to achieve something or if I was just having fun. It was in a weird area because I was pushing myself to try and stick to a schedule and I was enjoying that. But at the same point in time, um, I also kind of realized that it probably, you know, my, the, my quality was low. If you go back and watch those videos, they were, a lot of them were forced, low quality, and they were just poor. But I stuck to my schedule. If it didn't make it up on Saturday, it made it up on Sunday. Always. And it was, it was Sunday if I just, I missed and that was it. You know, and we have, you know, 16 facts about Final Fantasy 13, 10 facts about Metal Gear Solid, 20 facts about Minecraft. I was having, I, I went through and did all these, and the facts were still solid. I mean, literally, if you go back and watch them, you just have to realize the quality of the videos is shit. The quality of everything I was working on is shit. Now, I'm not going to say what I've got here is glorious, but I'm going to say what I had then was shit. There were times I recorded in my truck. There were times I recorded with noise going on. You could hear everybody in the house. There was times, there was one video from my Five Nights at Freddy's video where my, I did facts on that. I recorded behind my truck because I had the determination to get that done. And so, yeah, I started YouTube just because it was something to do and it slowly just turned into it turned into me learning, learning how to edit, learning how to do things, learning how to up my quality, and it just became something I don't want to give up. I don't ever want to give up. If one day I make it big, woo, I made it big. If if I never make it past 200 subscribers, I enjoy it. I enjoy what I'm doing. So, uh, that being said, I still like working with people. I still would not turn down growth. I still, you know, I still do a strive for that. But that's why, if you look at a lot of the videos I do, I try to steer clear from the, like, the super trendy stuff. 
Um, I know here lately I've kind of gotten a little worse about going with the trends. I mean, <laughs> look at some of my actual commentaries, um, my commentary style videos. And you can see I've kind of fallen into actually going with trends. But early on, the only time I was really trying to go for something that was trendy was, was, my, was my facts videos. Otherwise, I mean, we had Happy Wheels because everyone plays that. Um, Saints Row, I played that with a friend of mine. I need to get back into playing that. Town of Salem, you know, I just, I did a lot of stuff just to play it. And back then, the biggest reason my game gaming videos were always so tailored down and so low key, my old PC, this PC here, this monster I use now, blows my old PC out of the water. And I got this PC, I think it was March. It was either March or April of this year. Because if you've never been over to my um, about, if you've never looked on my about section to see the specs of this desktop here, let me give you a quick rundown. So my old computer was a dual core processor with six gigs of RAM and no, and it had a, I think it was a 256 megabyte video card. Not, not, not terrible, but no, not good. And that was my old computer. Then I upgraded and I've got a gaming laptop and a gaming desktop. The laptop is an AMD, um, let's see, it's an AMD FX car, uh, Radon card with a, uh, I think it's an i7 with an i, uh, with a, no, it's an i7. It's an a, it's a AMD 7 and then it's got an AMD 10. Uh, one's the, no, nine. One's the graphics card, one's the processor. I can't remember which one's which. I'd have to open it up and look at it. Um, but it's got 8 gigs of RAM, really decent, I'm not going to say high-end, really decent gaming laptop. The desktop has an a, um, i7-670 with a 3.4 gigahertz processor, 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, and an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 970, along with a 27-inch gaming monitor. Yeah, I got a gaming mouse, gaming keyboard, and a snowball microphone, and a Logitech 1080p high def swivel webcam. That's that's that. Um, that's my new one. What I used to use, what I used for oh, like forever. So I, rec I did everything with. Still over here. This little thing. In case you ever really wonder, just a Logitech 720p webcam. That's it. What all of my videos prior to prior to this, apart from vlogs and stuff, were all shot with that. Vlogs I did with this. This little thing. It's just a Polaroid IFO, uh, IF04, uh, yeah, 045. It's a 14 megapixel 1080p high definition camera. It's, is it something like, oh, top of the line? <laughs> no. Does it work? Fuck yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, long story short, I started YouTube for fun and it just turned into more fun. Um, would I like growth? Sure. Otherwise, eh. I started it for me. Um, that's why I still throw things on here with with my daughter. That's why I throw things on here with my wife. That's why I did a lot of this st uh, random stuff I've done. I've never really worried overly. I do want my quality to be good. I do want my quality to be on point. I want to try and get my commentary levels up and get, get my dialogue up and everything up. But at the end of the day, I make these videos because I enjoy it. And hopefully some people do too. I mean, yeah. Well, anyways, thank you all for watching this. If you have any questions you would like to ask me, as I said earlier at the beginning of the video, you can drop them down in the comment section below, tweet them to me on Twitter, or you can hit me up on AskFM. Because um, literally the only other question I got from the um, Q&A was on AskFM. And yeah, what? Since, since we're here, let's go ahead and just throw that in there. I answered it on there, but it, it was silly. It was a co-worker of mine, LaserPo. Yep. Laser Poe, if you've if um if you've ever been in my streams, my weekly streams, which if you haven't, get on that every Wednesday. Every Wednesday, guys, come on, you can join me. All right. Um, I was asked if if in a uh, in a world where all foods have been eradicated except for ketchup or ranch dressing. Which one would I, um, which uh, which one would I choose to consume and why? And the, the, that stems off the fact I don't like ranch. 
and I don't like ketchup. Ketchup repulses me. Ranch, I just... It, it, it kind of makes me go... Ugh, ugh. So, yeah. And because of that, that's why he asked that. And I picked ranch just literally because... The sight, the smell, the taste of ketchup revolts me. I had an ex-girlfriend who ate it like pudding, and that ruined it for me for life. Ranch, it's just I get annoyed by all the people who dip their stuff in ranch. That's it. So it's not it's not terrible. So, anyways, as I, as I said, though, thank you all for watching, and you all have fun. Bye, guys.